Hey, what's up, people? My name is Nicholas Gerfin. I'm with Five Star Real Estate Leaders in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm going to be doing a review on Chime.me, which is a CRM slash IDX for real estate professionals. If you are not a real estate professional, um, I'd probably just turn this off because this is uh, going to be kind of boring information to you. Anyways, um, so a little bit of background on, uh, on me. Um, I've been using Chime for about four months. Before then, I was with Conversion. I was very happy with Conversion, don't get me wrong. Um, however, I was uh, thinking about making a change uh, and you know, looking into Commissions Inc., searching around some threads on uh, lab code agents, and I you know, came across the name Chime. So I did a little bit of research, um, and I looked them up, did a demo, um, uh, checked out some of the reviews um, and if you were to check out some of the reviews as well you'd probably see there's quite a few negative reviews out there for them and you know uh, what I would like to say about that is a lot of I think a lot of those reviews are old reviews and a few of the re reviews although some of their complaints were valid um, I don't think that they gave uh, they had enough patience or uh, gave the system enough chance to actually work and so this this video is really to if you're doing some research on chime um, hopefully this could help make you and help you make a decision on whether this is right or right for you or not if you're looking at other systems out there and you're considering chime um, you definitely want to watch this video because it's it's going to be helpful you'll, you'll get a better idea of um, what's going on with this system also, if if you do decide to go with Chime, I would definitely appreciate if you if this video helps you make that decision. If you could put my name in with your representative, saying, "Hey, Nick Gerfin uh, did this awesome video, and I'd like him to get credit for this," then I would I would actually get a three hundred dollar credit off my bill, and that would be awesome because. You know, I'm not out there selling billions of dollars worth of real estate, um, so $300 would go a long way for me and my team. So, uh, if you do, thank you. I really appreciate it in advance. So again, one thing I would like to say about Chime is they uh, some of the negative reviews out there are saying that they um, and they're clunky. The IDX uh, feed is bad. Um, what I would like to say about that is they're kind of like that the new kid on the block. They're not, they are not in beta at all. They are a pretty fine-tuned system at this point. But I think when other people were using the service, there was a few glitches that they weren't able to get qu fixed quickly enough. And of course, they were unsatisfied, so they left some bad reviews. Um, my experience has been different than that. Uh, when I first signed up with Chime, yes, I did have a lot of glitches. There was, uh, I think I'm the first one in my market to have, uh, to actually use Chime. So the IDX feed was all sorts of messed up. Um, but the support team was very helpful. Uh, I, you know, typed up all my, uh, all my issues, you know, certain fields were not working right and they fixed it within a matter of a, about a week. So, of course, and they're also pretty responsive. Anytime I needed support help, they would actually get back to me within about 24 hours. So, uh, sometimes 24 hours is a little bit too long for some. Um, for me, I thought that was actually a good return time. So, so anyways, so before I get off uh, on a rant and start going off into you know that kind of stuff, I would like to show you the website, and I would like to keep this under 15 minutes if possible. So anyways, here's the front page. You could change the background to pretty much anything you want. Um, any photo that you want, you could do a video as well, and you could even do a slideshow. You could change the, con the, the content here to, or you could change the wording here at least. Uh, you can't put in any kind of um, uh, any kind of code or nothing like that there, but you can actually change the, the wording if you'd like. They do have an option where you could do a quick search bar where you could, you know, just do the basics, location, bedrooms, bathroom, bathrooms, price point, um, that sort of thing. I decided to go with this because I want to be, and be able to capture, you know, home sellers, you know, get your home's value or, you know, if they want to search for homes. All right, so down here we got featured listings. These are all the listings that hit my market within the last couple days. Um, 
It shows, you know, single family or a manufactured home. It also has a, a banner showing it's new. And, you know, just very basic details. One thing I would like to see if they could do is possibly get rid of the address and just leave the city, if that would be possible. But, um, so I'll probably put in a request to see if they're able to do that. And then we got the quick search links where somebody could search for all the homes in Sparta. And it comes up with, like I said, the, and the banners. Um, one home is hot because uh, quite a few people on my website have actually been clicking on it. And it also pulls up pending data. Um, this, of course, that's market de dependent. Uh, your MLS might not allow pending data. Mine does. So, and if I wanted to turn that off, I could just uh, do all listing statuses to active and search. All right. So, so you could search by location, property type, bedrooms, bathrooms, price point. Um, price is is not going to be fixed numbers. You could actually put in, you know, down to the do the dollar instead of increments of like fifty thousand dollars. I could not stand that with some of those other providers because I mean, in my market, some of the price point is a little bit low. Uh, a person that's qualified for one hundred and twenty-five thousand. They're not going to want to see homes that are priced at 150000 So that was very important to me as well. So minimum price, maximum price, all the way down to the dollar. And then we got days on the market. You could look at only homes that have been on the market for less than you know 60 days. Active listings, contingent listings, pending listings. The reason why this is cool still is because, you know, if you're working with a, a seller, you might want to show them pending listings and we got waterfront basement foreclosed year built pretty much all the uh, things that you would expect in a way and the cool thing about the support there is if there are additional search criteria that you want to add you can uh, they will add those for you if they're available so that's that might be something that you might be interested in all right, so let's go back to let's do a search. Another great thing about their search criteria or their their search um, features are you could search by map. And anybody that's used other services out there, they know how frustrating it is where when you search by map, you are restricted to the basic search criteria, bedrooms, bathrooms, price point. That's it. With Chime, you could use the same search criteria that you would use on a grid search or any other search. Um, so if you want to do a map search that has waterfront, you could. Oops. And you could also do a, if you want to just look at a certain neighborhood, you could do a um, polygon search and there's nothing there so so again that's uh, that's a huge thing i was with idx broker for a little while idx broker does have polygon search but like i said they are restricted to bedrooms bathrooms and price point that's it all right so the next one i'm going to go over is uh featured listings right here just pulls up the most recent listings that just hit the market we got sell uh, this is one thing I wish that they would uh, develop a little bit more um, like they do come out with updates very often and so much so like every month they come out with a major update um, and this is one of, one of the things that I would hope that they would actually fix in one of their upcoming updates is to allow us to put our own content in here I would love to put a, a YouTube video or a video a video introduction or my own you know, like my value proposition um, anything in here other than this because I just don't see anybody ever filling this out but you never know so Hopefully in the near future, this will be uh, changed into something that we could actually put our own content in. And then we got the home valuation. Um, you could change the background. You could change uh, the text. 
and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when you actually pull up a home. So, boom, it says, uh, give me some information. I'll do, it won't allow me to add myself as a lead. So I'll use a alias email, get my home price. Email already exists. Um, hmm, let's see, let me try something else. Get my home price. <laughs> Well, that stinks. So, I'll have to sign in as a lead in order for me to do that. Let's try that again. Get report. All right, so it comes up, comes up with the estimated value. Other services I've used, they actually use the Z estimate. So I don't know what kind of value that gives uh, a potential seller when when they just actually give the Z estimate. But um, this is a, they get their information from another source. I believe they get it from uh, Geo uh, uh, Geo Farming. I believe it is called, where they're able to pull some uh, some different information other than what Zillow is able to get. Uh, it got the highest price, lowest price, uh, 30 day change, and bedrooms, bathrooms, and square footage. And if there was sold sold history, then there would be sold history, or there could be sold history. I've never seen any sold history in there. I don't think that's supported by my MLS. So uh, that might vary with uh, wherever you're at. And then there's nearby homes um, that are for sale in my area. Okay. Then we got blogs, and this is another thing. I would say this is something I, I really hope that they fix is currently there's no good way to actually blog. If you want to blog, uh, what you need to do is uh, you need to send it in an email to support, and support will upload it or add it to your, your web page. Um, I'm hoping that in the near future they actually have something on the back end to do your own blogging, but currently that's not there. Like I said, they come out with updates all the time, so it might be in the near future. And then we got neighborhoods. You could do a search by neighborhood. Um, let's do Rockford. So it shows the population, homes for sale, uh, how many renters, how many homeowners. Don't know where the, they get this information, but I'm not complaining. It's really pretty cool. Um, the only thing I wish I could do is, again, put it in my own content. I would love to put a YouTube video in here or my, you know, things I love about Rockford and just something to boost my SEO. So when people are searching for homes for sale in Rockford, Michigan, uh, hopefully my, my webpage would show up. And then we got the about page, which is, uh, you know, exactly what you expect just about. So uh, got the bio, got contact information, and areas of expertise, um, how it works. All right, so we got you know, buyer services. And th again, this information I don't think is, I don't think you could edit this information at all at this point. So I would say that's one of the downfalls about this, uh, about Chime is not being able to get in there and make some of the changes that you'd want. However, like I said, I'll say it again and again, I see that in the near future because uh, one of the, their, their most recent updates um, allows you to make so many changes on the website. I just don't think they've gotten to that point yet where we could actually make changes to the blog, to the, um, to the cell page, and to the, to, to the actual neighborhoods. So hopefully that comes near in the near future. And then we got... <clears throat> We got, uh, since I'm logged in as a lead, you could go into your account settings. So a customer would be, you know, might want to come in here, you know, update their information, their phone number, their email subscription. Um, if they favorited any homes, 
then it would show up here. Right now it says I have two favorited homes. And the reason why they're not showing up is because I have not, uh, well, because they sold. So uh, it's not gonna show any sold data. And then if I saved a search, it would show up here. All right, so I think that does it. I hope I stayed under 15 minutes. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, I would like to say that in the four months I've been using this, I, I think I get you know about 40, 50 uh, you know, return visitors every every month, and it seems to be very sticky. People come back over and over and over. Um, this combined with the the CRM working in, in conjunction, um, when somebody looks at a house a couple times, it might send a send an email, and people will just keep on coming back. It has a great uh, uh, listing alert system, so and people will just uh, browse on it. You could actually see how often people are browsing on it on the back end, and that's going to be my next video is going over the back end letting you guys see that side of the story as well. So if you have any questions, please fill out, uh, fill out a comment below. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. If you decide to go with Chime and this video helped you, please drop my name. I love it. Um, saving money is uh, awesome. So, and all right, so speaking of saving money, is what's the price of this? Um, well, like I said, I was looking into Commissions Inc. This is one third of the cost of Commissions Inc. I don't know what the current pricing is. I, I've been with them for four months now, but I think I got in when uh, just before they upped the price. So um, talk to a rep about that. Hopefully you could get it, and get it for a really good deal. And it, like, a, like I said, if you have questions, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks.